it's quite a, a dramatic slide, and I don't think a lot of people realise that when you look at the Arctic ice you know, that's there, let's say, in the spring, a lot of the ice that you're seeing is no longer multi-year ice. It's not the, the mm. old, old, old Arctic ice. It's actually ice that's formed that winter. Yeah. And that's actually different, isn't it, to multi-year ice? Yes, it, it is completely different stuff. And um, it means that not now, um, when 40 years ago, for instance, nearly all the ice in the Arctic was multi-year. So the ice would grow, melt a little bit in the summer, grow thicker, uh, get more deformed in subsequent years. And it could become very old. It could easily become 20 years old before eventually the winds would drive it out of the Arctic. So multi-year ice, which was a formidable obstacle, uh, ships couldn't get through it. You couldn't, you couldn't never get an icebreaker to the North Pole, for instance, because the, the ice was too heavy. Um, explorers would, wouldn't be able to make much progress over it. And it, 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 was, and it, it made it impossible to do offshore drilling because of the, the forces that that ice exerted on any structure. So it was really formidable stuff. And uh, that's gone, uh, and really gone. The whole Arctic n now is first-year ice, very nearly the whole of it. And that ice is much thinner, weaker, uh, much more mobile. You can't easily establish a runway on it, for instance. It won't last very long. And it looks different because there aren't the same rugged characteristics, the same ridging. It, it's a different substance. So it's not just the fact that in the summer now in the Arctic, you've got a big blue area, which is water that used to be ice. And that's changed the appearance of the planet in, in, in the northern summer, is having a huge blue area at the top end. But even where there's still white stuff, where there's still ice, it's different ice from what was there before. So it's a, it's a, it's a different ice cover in, in, uh, over the Arctic. The old Arctic Ocean is, is not there anymore. Well, the, when the ice grows in, in the autumn, um, the, the, most of the, the salt from the, um, that was in the ocean and that doesn't go into the ice, it's, re it's, it's rejected back, back into the ocean, so the ocean gets more saline. That, that doesn't really do anything much, except in one or two small areas. Um, so it, it's really, the, the ocean doesn't play a big role in itself, um, it, it helps the heat carried by the, the ocean, that, at least the heat carried in the Atlantic Ocean, which then sinks under the Arctic and moves and, and, and makes a layer under the Arctic ice. That, that, that heat has got greater, so you're getting greater amount of heat flow from the ocean into the ice, which helps, is one of the things that helps to make the ice thinner. Um, but the main thing I think making the ice thinner is, is increased air temperature.